So what what is your life like now? What how is it? What do you do like uh, every day? <laughs> yeah. Watch my Korean drama. <laughs> Everybody loves Korean drama. Yeah. <laughs> I love that Korean drama. <laughs> Meet Humi Iha, a 92-year-old second generation Okinawan American. It's widely documented that Okinawan women are among the longest living people on earth. But why is it they're living so long? A group of researchers from the Kuakini Honolulu Heart Program study believe they found some answers. Spearheading the study is Dr. Bradley Wilcox. So we believe that there's three components to longevity. There's, there's uh, non-genetic factors, what we'll call the environment. There's genetic factors and there's chance. So genetics may account for anywhere from 20 to 50 percent of why somebody lives to be 100. Dr. Wilcox believes his discovery of a variation in the FOXO gene that's mostly found in people over 90 may play a key role. Although it's not certain exactly how the FOXO gene assists with healthy aging, there does appear to be a correlation. Well, we found that uh, certain dietary patterns like drinking green tea enhances longevity. Is there an interaction between drinking green tea and genotype? Does drinking green tea turn on the gene to make do what genes do, make mm -hmm. healthy protein? As for Humi, it's been all about the diet. I you eat a lot of veg vegetable. Yeah. I love my fish and vegetable. <laughs> no red meat. <laughs> Here at the University of Hawaii's John A. Burns Bioscience Building, Dr. Wilcox's colleague, Dr. Richard Alsop, is assisting with his own research. Brad and I met about three years ago uh, and uh, with mutual interest in human aging. And he had recently discovered the link between FOXO3 variants and longevity. And I have been, as I have been for the past many years now, looking at uh, the role of telomere shortening and aging. A telomere is a genetic element which protects the end of the chromosome from degradation. But the problem is with uh, humans and other species as well is as we age and as cells divide in our body, most different types of cells, including stem cells, the end of the chromosome will gradually get shorter and shorter and shorter. And if it gets too short, it can't function anymore and that causes a problem. The main goal of this research is to try to find new ways to reverse the aging process by rejuvenating the telomeres. Although not yet approved for human testing, both Dr. Alsop and Dr. Stefan Moisiati have begun testing on mice at the University of Hawaii Institute for Biogenesis Research. So what they want to do is study those mutations and introduce them to a piece of long DNA that doesn't have the mutations, put the mutations there one at a time and put them into mice to see if the mice that don't have their own FOXO gene can survive with the introduced gene and live longer than they usually do. If they do, bingo, we got a kind of approach to how we can affect longevity. With the combined efforts from everyone involved, Dr. Wilcox's knowledge of the FOXO gene, Dr. Alsop's telomere research, and Dr. Moisiati's innovative techniques, their ultimate goal is to find ways to allow the average person to live longer.